Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Nancy Furness with Tri-Cities Community Television, and I'm joined today by Susie McGregor, who is the coordinator of the Dare to Shine program, and also Ia Ritchie, who is the overall winner of the program. So I'd just like to start by thanking you both for being here today. Thanks so much Thank for inviting you. us. Um, Susie, can you start us off by telling us a little bit about the Dare to Shine program? What is it? Well, one might call it a contest, however, it's far more of an event and workshop. Uh, Evergreen Cultural Centre and myself decided to present this together and come up with a program that gave all artists of all ages a chance to audition, perform on smaller stages, get some workshops and feedback and then perform on the bigger stages and just a lot of prizes to give to everyone throughout but of course there is an overall winner and ta -da. this is our last year's winner. It's so incredibly talented, Thank oh my you. gosh. Um, you know, it sounds like a really interesting program. It's not just a contest and it's not just um, a one-time event. You had mentioned something about mentoring and, and can you talk us a, a little bit more about that? Yeah, so um, we open. We just opened registration for 2023, um, and people can register on my website, www.susiemcgregor.com. Um, so from the audition process, they come in, and they get some feedback on their audition, and then they get a bit of a workshop and some things going on before round one is very small. It's a very intimate setting. And then there's another workshop with many of my music industry friends that in theater uh, talk about stage presentation. They talk about picking the best song, about their vocals, you know, how to get over those nerves, you know, all of those sort of just everything to encourage and nurture and support and celebrate. Well, it sounds like a, a really interesting process and a lot of support in there. So can you talk a bit about who's coming and auditioning? Like you said, it's open to everyone. So is there an age restriction or a, um, like, do you have to meet certain screening criteria? Do you have to be able to sing or perform to some level? They must be three years of age or older. Three years of age. So that's leaving it pretty and no, no, no limit on the other end. No, we had a, a, a senior come and join us and be part of the finals and going to do a recording. Uh, she's wonderful, right? So it's it's really just to celebrate talent of all ages. And we have with us Ia Ritchie, who was the overall winner of 2022. Um, congratulations, Ia! And Thanks so much. can you tell us a little bit about your experience? Well, it's been a really great experience. The environment was really welcoming, and I feel like I've learned so much more than what I had learned before. Uh, attending the contest. Um, I walked in for my first audition and it was a really nice environment. There was very few people. It was just me and the judges. And then I went from my first audition to the semi-final audition and then the semi-final performance and then the final performance. And all of it was just a really great working experience. And yeah. It sounds like it was a very positive experience. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little bit about um, when you're going through that whole process, you said it's you're on your own with the judges and it's a small group setting. Mm -hmm. And then um, do they tell you right away, give you feedback or what's that process like? Yeah, so the first two auditions for me, I was just with the judges and it was a smaller environment. And once I finished performing, they did give me a lot of feedback and it was really helpful to take that feedback into the later performances for the semi-final performance and the final performance. And in between those performances, there was also workshops and like practices. And those were really fun, really exciting. And it was just getting to practice like stage presence and performing with other musicians was really great. And I think that's a huge part of it too, being comfortable on the stage, right? So to have somebody who in a supportive kind of environment can mentor you and, and help you to feel comfortable is something that you know you don't get if you just go to music lessons, yeah. right? So this sounds like it's a much broader, um, rounded program. Where can people see these performances? 
Well, February 11th at the Evergreen Cultural Center, uh, I will be performing. You will be opening for me. And so that's one of the things that she won within the being the, the biggest winner. Uh, several of the performers won their own show September 23rd was yes. last year, yes. So, and they got footage from their performances as well to utilize for their own promotional purposes. Several of the winners won uh, uh, some social media support and or support with their websites, Long and McQuaid certificates, guitars, Nimbus came aboard to do some recordings for lots of our winners. Uh, this year we even have big records on board to give away an artist development package. So there's there's lots of ways to to, to hear this wonderful talent. Sounds like some pretty good incentives there and some great opportunities for local talent to be showcased. So tell us again when the event is coming up that you'll be... Well, February 11th. February 11th, yeah. At the Evergreen Cultural Center is, uh, is my live show and I'll be re performing songs from my past two albums as well as stuff that I will be putting on my next album and a couple of cover songs from Patsy Cline to Adele. Uh, yeah, you have planned? Yeah, I have a somewhat of a jazz set. I've been singing since I was around eight years old and most of it has been studying and learning jazz because it's one of my favorites. So I decided for the show I have six songs and most of them are jazz standards, so yeah. Well, it sounds wonderful and we'll look forward to hearing more and people can get tickets by going to Evergreen's Evergreen site? Evergreen Cultural Center. Um, also, the Dare to Shine is open for 2023, so they can go to www.susiemcgregor.com, click on Dare to Shine and register right there and come and show us their talent and help us support. Well, it sounds like a great opportunity and, and I, I hope that we get lots of people coming out and signing up and um, taking advantage of this opportunity because it, it's, it's great to see local talent get out there and, and have um, the chance to really shine. So thank you both so much for coming in and, and we'll be looking forward to seeing the event at Evergreen and to hearing more and, and um, seeing some more talent come forward. And congratulations again, Ia. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for joining us this afternoon on Tri-Cities Community Television. Once again, you can get information or sign up for this year's Dare to Shine event at www.susiemcgregor.com. And you can catch both Ia and Susie perform at the upcoming Susie McGregor and Friends events at the Evergreen Cultural Center on February 11th. For more information, go to www.evergreenculturalcenter.ca. Before we leave today, here's a sample of what you might expect to hear if you're lucky enough to attend this event.
this one. Know that I don't spend enough time with you. I can feel it in my heart, and I can't decide if I should choose between the things I want and the things that I should do. Most of this guilt it shines through. Oh, I'm scattered. What matters? What needs to be done? Start the list. Am I losing number one? Well, to do it all right, I'd be working day and night. How am I to know that's the way I wanna go until I get there? Five more hours plus one more day. Maybe I'd be strong if the week worked out that way. Oh, life takes all I have. Sleep and work take the other half. How am I to have some fun when well, I'm the only one? Well, I'm scattered. What matters? What needs to be done? Where do I start the list? Am I losing number one? Well, to do it all right, I'd be working day and night. How am I to know that's the way I want to go until I get there? How am I to know that's the way I want to go until I get there? Sweet.